Hey guys, welcome to IT Content Cinema. In today's video, I'm going to show you the best way to take screenshots on Windows. And also this will be using built-in tools and also a keyboard shortcut. So the first thing that you want to do is just go to your search bar here and you just want to type in snip. As you can see, you should see this snipping tool. Just click that, that's a Windows built-in tool. So what this tool allows us to do is have total control over our screenshot. So for example, I've got mods here, as you can see, if I click where mods is, I can select the type of mods I want to take the screenshot for. So if I want free form, that will allow me to cut a certain area manually like this, for example, by highlighting the same area, and that should take a screenshot for me, as you can see here. Or you can use better options like rectangular, snip so this one will also allow you to select an area that you want but this time it will be in a more rectangular form so you can see like that there. then you've got the other ones which is this windows snip so what that will do now is very nice and easy as you can see what is highlighted in red that's what is going to take a screenshot of so now if i just go here let me just open up some files as you can see here i'll have chrome and that so now from here if i select the mode to windows name so anywhere where i put my cursor or my mouse here as you can see it is having that red border as you can see so that will only take a screenshot of that area when i click on it so for example if i click on this chrome here click and as you can see from here now we only have the window for chrome as a screenshot as you can see so that's one of the good and easy methods of taking screenshots with the snipping to itself and also if it's something like a work where you've spotted the problem for example on the file that i've sent you you can easily go here where it says highlighter then you can easily highlight the areas where you feel the mistake is so that the person knows where to check so you can easily do that as well and if you make a mistake there's always an eraser here you can just click on it and that should remove and also you've got easy access to a pen where you can you know do things like this and then point them out to whatever you want to say there as you can see so that's just one of the easiest ways you can take a screenshot and also now if we move on to our keyboard shortcuts so here if you want to use the keyboard now to take screenshots go on your keyboard and press print screen which is abbreviated as P R T S C R. so if you have that you just want to make sure you press that see, that has taken a screenshot so you can't see the screenshot now because it's on your clipboard but if for example we open a paint and we do control V you'll notice we have a screenshot of all the desktops if you have got multiple desktops as you can see from the way mine came out here so if that's the way you want it then you can use this and go here file then you can do servers and then you can save it as a png but if you want it to be saved directly onto your pc for example if i open up file explorer pictures screenshots here so for example here we have three right now but if now we hold windows key and print screen you'll notice that now that has taken another screenshot here so when you hold down the windows key with print screen that will take a screenshot and save it to your files here as you can see so using the keyboard shortcut now if i want to take a screenshot of only chrome here what i can do is click on it then i can press out then i can now press print screen and that has taken a screenshot of only chrome so the way we can check that is again we can just open up paint like this Control v and as you can see we only have a screenshot of chrome as you can see here then i can easily go file servers then i can save it as a png like that by default it always saves as a png then you can just click, click save and then that should do the trick for you so if you found this video useful please leave a like subscribe to my channel for more PC tips see you in the next one